I've arrived, Joseph. Your great friend, Mr. McGuire, has vanished. If you're Irish, you can't get nothing without the war bus. He's the biggest man in Boston. He is. A ghost, please, somebody else, boy. I know the games of these shysters. Come on, Miss Christie. I'll find you a suitable hotel. Thank goodness for Mr. McGuire. Take Miss Christie here to a decent hotel. Well, you've certainly upheld your end of the bargain. Good luck, Shannon. Good luck, Joseph. Hey, McGuire! Yes? Welcome back! Economy, man, huh? Fresh off the boat. Huh? Follow me. Joseph. Not you, woman. You just cost me part of a tooth. If he gets to go, then I get to go. I'm Mike Kelly! Who is this bit of a snit, anyway, huh? Your wife? Certainly oh, no. not. Then who the hell are you, lass, coming into my club? She's... I'm... Uh, my sister. Oh. Tell me she isn't a pain in the ass, huh? Settle your bets, Sister! Her oh, blood's not even the same temperature. Shannon. All right, Norm. These people, Shannon, these people are my kind of people. And my kind doesn't like your kind. In fact, they hate everything about you. For some reason or other, I'm willing to lie for you. Or we could tell them that you're a rich Protestant. Might be sportive. No, no, Joseph. My brother. Good. What do you call yourself? Joseph Donnelly. Well, Donnelly, let's put you on the road to citizenship. We'll get you working. 
and gets you voting when the time comes, huh? See how the system works here, lad, huh? Stop it! Don't leave me alone! Her name was Get the here! I'll throw your eyes out! She makes a handsome Don't! Woman now no! Look, stop! Leave me alone! Excuse me, Mr. Kelly. Another world in her! Leave me alone! Give me another world in her! 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 I've no wish to fight you. He's no wish to fight me. <laughs> no, 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 he's mine. He's mine alone. <laughs> Knock the piss out of the man or knock the piss out of me. Eh? I'm not sure how I feel about that. Damity. Yes, sir, Mr. Kelly. Time to make the rounds. We'll take this scrapper and the girl here and lodge them at Molly Kay's. Grab the luggage. Yes, sir. Come on. Hey, Pete, get a match going. These fellas can bet on, will you? I'll be back. How are you doing? Howdy, Tim. Good to see you, lads. This is it. Here we are. Okay, dear Mr. Kelly. How are you, Matt? Huh? Oh. Bring him away. Molly. It's just as unpleasant for me as it is for you. We've got a brother and sister here, Molly. Need a room. You're enough. We had a suicide just this morning. Howdy, Bridget. How are you? Hello, Mike. Oh, yes. I need gentlemen up here, girls. <laughs> Make an announcement, Amity. Ward boss! Ward boss! I give you another year. You're not campaigning, Mike. Relax, Molly. Politics is more important to these men than sex. And I am the Virgin Mary. <laughs> God forgive you, Molly. Not likely, Mike. Come on. It's that Jimmy Dunn, I see. I was chatting with your wife today, Jimmy. <laughs> don't tell me what, Mike. <laughs> and here is the bath. But don't linger in it too long. It's the only one in the house. This is your room here. Ours? You're not suggesting that we share this room, I hope. I don't care what you do in it. As long as you pay me a dollar a week. No, there must be some mistake. We need two rooms. I've only got the one. Well, that's not good enough. Mike, what have you sent me here? That really uh, is not good. Shannon, Molly, the room is fine, and we'll take it. Great for me. As you know, election time is coming up. <laughs> Your sister was spoilt, I'd say. Say what you like, lad. But I warn you, that redhead has a bite that stings. Get to work! 
Get your filthy hands off me, you ugly animal! That'll cost you a day's wage. Go ahead. Insult me again. There goes tomorrow. Dawn? Take Friday as well, you spineless little fraction of a man. <laughs> Fight, lads! Fight! Mouth, Mr. Burke. Now, Donnelly, you don't talk to Mr. Burke that way. Very cool, Kelly. This is business, and the boys are stock in trade. Now, listen to me, lad. There's a man I want you to box. He's a goddamn Italian, and I want you to spill his blood. I'll box, and I'll win. But you boys don't owe me, Mr. Burke. I'll box for myself, alone. What do you think you're doing pissing against the wind, huh? Darcy Bork is a powerful man in Boston, a man whose connections I need. I'm not going to kiss the back of his trousers just because the rest of you do. You like your suit? Or do you? You like having a roof over your head? I'm your bread and butter, lad. Cross me, and you're nothing. Nothing but an ignorant mick. You do what you're told. I'll throw you out in the street, and every door you knock on will be slammed in your face. Do you understand? Good. It's going to be a grand fight, Mr. Buck. Good. That's what I like to hear. Donnelly! Take it. Take it. I thought 
glad you didn't want me to fight. Which is so much money. You boxed for nickels before this. This is a fortune. Like some company. I'm not especially attracted to Mr. Burke. You came to me for help. Let's show some manners. Come to scratch! Come to scratch! <laughs>
get this loser out of my club. That's our money. We earned it. There isn't a penny here, it doesn't originate with me. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! You're done, Scrapper. You won't work here or box here or nothing here. You coppers beat it! Alright, get him up. Too bad. But I saw it coming the first time you walked in off the boat. These two are banished. You shelter them even at night. I'll shut this whole house down. Come on. 